our other wonderful hobby that we share. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So what kind of a ho- art did you, you said you went to Baylor and you were majoring in art and then you ended up majoring in special mm-hmm. ed, but you minor. But I never let the mind, yeah, I kept the art going so I would take classes. And so, so I kept, kept that going. So what art were you, got you interested in, in doing a degree on it? Mine was painting, like acrylic painting, but. I didn't have a specific thing in mind when I was in high school. I took a lot of art classes in high school. I had a wonderful art teacher, um, great experience all the years I was at uh, Northern High School in Baltimore. And um, so there were so many aspects that I enjoyed. I, you know, drawing, I liked drawing and painting. And, and then I discovered clay, um, you know, the, the, the way I could use it. So sculpting, I guess you'd say. And um, I will say this uh, to the audience real quick. Aunt Marsha is, I don't, I almost honestly don't want to even just say one of the best. You're the best that I know that I've seen in real life sculpting out of sand. We go to the, the beach reunions. Our family reunions are at the beach every <laughs> year or every three or four years. Was it three every, years? Yeah, every three years. Every three uh-huh. years. And she would always make these gigantic, like, I don't even know, eight foot by eight foot sand tur- turtles out of sand. It was, and whatever else she and made. And dolphins. Dolphins. And- so I mainly did, dolphins was my go-to. That was my favorite thing to do, was to do a dolphin. Then I went, then I started doing turtles. And then I started doing, let's see, I did a crab one year. Remember the crab playing tennis? So I had a crab <laughs> no, I, I don't, but racket. I can imagine you it. <laughs> I remember oh, a crab, crab, but I don't remember the tennis be. racket. That's hilarious. It's a giant crab with a tennis racket. Um, How long would it take you to sculpt those? Like all, oh, all gosh, three days? hours. It would take me out, not days, hours, but it would be, it's exhausting. I mean, cause I would I never imagine. do a small one. I always had to do a big one. I don't know why, <laughs> but I would always do bigger than life. And, um, I think I would intend to start out kind of small. <laughs> it would get bigger. And, um, <laughs> then, um, then I couldn't stop. Like I had to finish it. Um, and I then it became that, all about the details. So, um, can you walk us through I, how you made these were, am I well, remembering right? They're like, about They're eight huge. foot by eight foot. Like oh yes, huge. you got it. Yeah. You you were absolutely right. They're enormous. So how do you? Well, do you basically something? start with a big pile of sand that you <laughs> tamp down as you're piling it up. You get the kids involved. By yeah, they they're your gatherers. You, <laughs> yes, my gatherers of the big giant sand pile, and the sun, it has to be the right kind of uh, consistency of wet to dry sand. So it has to be close enough to the. Um, to the water, but not too close that it's going to tear it up, you know, like as the tide comes in. So you have to really pick up a good spot. And, um, the Gulf is the best to me. I mean, I, I, I don't think I can make a sandcastle, I mean, a sand sculpture as well, um, on the Atlantic as I could on the, I could, I could be wrong. I just did. We spent so much time with golf that I guess I, we got so used to doing that, but, um, then Did we you also a have a, like a thing of water to help with the consistency? Uh, not really. I mean, you could pour water onto it, but generally we just had wet sand. So we would I just see. have, we would just have piles of wet sand and then you pop, you know, tamp that down into the general shape. It's kind of like what you were doing with your painting. You start with a base shape. Um, you block it in. Showing my, yes, my little there painting it is. project. Yeah. You start seen. with your shape. And then you, you build from there, you get your details and you've got to have to know in your head what you're going for. And for me, I think I started with a, a little model. So the first time I did a dolphin, I had a little toy, you know, a little oh, you something did? I was using. I just always assumed, boom, out of well, your head. I, I was like, so that's amazing. <laughs> you know, once you do it enough times ah. and you have studied the anatomy of the dolphin, which the I have done because yeah. dolphins are my, like my spirit animal, that's amazing. Um, among other things. So my horse, the horse was my first spirit animal. Huh. Dolphins became a second spirit animal. My third spirit animal, you probably don't know this, I don't. is a dragonfly. Really? Yeah. What's the reason for the horse, <laughs> the dolphin, and the dragon? Okay, so the horse, I was totally, totally smitten by horses as a child. Okay, any any picture, video, well, we have videos, TV shows, 
Um, I, if I saw a horse, I was in love. I loved horses. A lot of little kids, mainly girls, love horses. I don't know why. Then I began, when I found out I knew how to draw, I started drawing horses and I drew them all the time. And I would study how they looked, you know, the face, the, the legs, how they moved. And I had horse pictures in my room. Now, I didn't, I didn't have experience with horses because we lived in the city and I, you know, but my dad would, you know, sometimes dad would take me to um, see horses just like running around in a pasture or something. So um, I was, I loved them so much. Um, and then actually as an adult, once I got out of college and David and I started, this was years later. So obviously David and I were dating and I said, well, I want to learn how to ride a horse. Here I am a grown up, and I'm in love with horses, but I've never ridden a horse. Well, I had been on horses. But that's not exactly counting that you're riding it. Right. You know, you're sitting on a horse maybe somebody leads you around. Um, so, uh, I started, to, he went with me and we took horse riding lessons together the That's year before fun. we got married. Yeah. While we were dating every, once a week, we went to this riding place and learned how to ride horses. And then, um, then we went in together with some friends and bought a horse. Wow. I didn't know that. that. I did not know that. No. Yeah, I didn't. You're right. So we we co-owned a horse. We used to say we owned a piece of the horse, which doesn't sound good. No. Whether the back half? And I said, front. well, what piece did you own? I said, well, the part you ride, because I was the only one who rode him. And um, of the four owners, really? I was the only one who went out and rode him. Oh. Yeah. It was bizarre. I know. So, um, he was such a sweet horse. And so my friend Jan, she had a horse and um, we boarded them together and we would go and ride. And I had gotten, obviously around you had to ride a horse and um, loved it. Just, Oh, it was just a great time in my life. And then um, along comes Noah. And um, I have to show you this picture. I hope, you, I hope you don't mind me walking while I, do oh, I don't mind. So, along comes you know then I, I got pregnant couldn't have couldn't ride anymore and we uh, we sold our horse and um so now I, I from then on I don't have a horse so that was over 33 years ago Noah's about to turn 33 so here's a picture of so my friend kept her horse Shasta and so she said well, when Noah gets bigger he can learn to ride so here's a photograph of Noah riding with Jan bareback on her horse you ready he rode bareback wow what? I see it yeah I'm ready Whoa. Can you see that? My cousin well? Noah. I can see it. Great. My cousin Noah and your friend Jan on the yeah, uh-huh. dark brown horse. No saddle. Yeah, that's Shasta. Nope. That's tough. No saddle. Now I did we we did ride the saddles, but um that was just that real that day. That's Jesus. cute. I just got that picture. I actually painted a watercolor of that picture and gave it Ooh. to her for Christmas one year. That and uh fun. I don't even, I, think I have I sort of have a picture of it I didn't take a good picture of it but um anyway so yeah so horses so that's how the spirit animal was was the horse was the beginning and then I just from I guess land to sea Joe flipper I fell in love with dolphins <laughs> that's amazing and um yeah so dolphins became this and I, you can't really sculpt a horse on the beach it's just too hard <laughs> <laughs> I can imagine <laughs> I can't even draw. And, um, <laughs> no thanks. So I did start doing dolphins and then sea turtles and um, for whatever people would ask. And so Michael John was into Ninja Turtles one year, maybe many years. And when he was a little boy, he had he had some of the little characters and he wanted me to, to sculpt one of the uh, Ninja Turtles. So I did. It was very difficult, but I did. I used this little toy. And I sat it up to the side. And I sculpted a Ninja Turtle holding a pizza box in the That's sand. <laughs> amazing. I know. <laughs> I'll have to find that picture sometime and show it to you. And yeah, I want that. That, that one and the one. crab with the tennis racket. <laughs> yes, the crab with the tennis racket. Um, yeah, tennis was another big pictures. thing in our family reunions. <laughs> oh, absolutely. Yes. Big tennis guy. and beach volleyball. I, <laughs> I might have had a volleyball in that picture too. I can't remember. I'll have to go back and look at all my sculptures, but yeah, I got the reputation for doing these sculptures, even at our church beach retreats, which we go on every year down at Panama city. And people know, even the children who have grown up knowing that I sculpt in the sand will come to me now 
you know, they'll say, and they're, they're, they're grown. They're like your age. And they'll say, Oh, are you going to do a sculpture? I'm like, um, probably not. (laughs) (laughs) Well, because they take so long and they really do. And, uh, you're sitting out there in the sun that whole time. And yeah. So you were only down there for a weekend. So it's like, you don't want to spend hours (laughs) in sculpting, um, a dolphin on the beach. That's amazing. That I have, I have done it. So, but I, I didn't, I haven't done it in a couple of years. You have to be really good at something for someone to come up to you, you know, 20 years later and still know you. <laughs> remember that. that that's, you <laughs> that's pretty yeah. special. Oh, thanks. You're welcome. Thanks. It's funny though. Cause as a kid, you know, I go to these family reunions every three years and I see you do yeah. it and I'm just, to me, it's like, Oh, I guess everybody has an aunt. <laughs> Amazing at making art. <laughs> yes, everyone has an aunt, and it's just not a, true. A dolphin. Yeah, oh, you, mean, you mean you don't have an aunt that can just make a an eight foot by eight foot dolphin out of sand? <laughs> like what? <laughs> well, what I love about it too, when it's done, is that they're strong enough that you can place a small child on the back of it. Oh, for picture time. Riding a dolphin and for picture time, and we did that. I don't know if I got you on one or not. But I have a picture of Rennie and Noah, maybe Daniel. I'll have to go back. They were itty bitty. So um, you have to be real careful how you place them on. You can't just say, okay, climb up. Because they they put their foot on it. Yeah, there it goes. Four hours of work. You basically have to pick them up and put them on it. But um, the, I don't yeah, know if you so, remember this about me, but my my sand sculptures were a lot different growing up. So the comp- I guess this was a competitive but thing in my brain but what i would do you mentioned you know you need to be far enough away from the beach or from the yeah the, the water to have mm-hmm. a good consistency sand but not too far because then it's too sandy anyway i tried every time i remember g- building something out of sand i would try to build castles or whatever but yeah. my thing was i would try to build them where the water could hit them and my goal was to make a castle that could withstand the water, which never worked, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> but like f- for some that reason, was your goal. <laughs> that yeah, that that yeah. that mm-hmm. goal of just like I want to beat the ocean at at yeah. sand castle building, and obviously right. it's like impossible. But <laughs> just a little glimpse into what I found amusing as a kid, <laughs> right? Well, people would send me pictures of those. You know those big competitions where they yeah, I've these seen those enormous yeah. things, and so yeah, mine pales in comparison when I look at them I'm like okay no not quite <laughs> on that level but these people would, would oh they were incredible and uh you know it's like ice sculpting and all that yeah kind of that's stuff. I've seen an I ice sculpture had my that's, few that's, things that I could sculpt but <laughs> that's intense that's that's my nice. repertoire is not very big so what well, else I'm have you been into that. that makes me happy that you can remember me that way oh of course yeah that's yeah. every time i go to the beach i think of that oh, <laughs> well i don't know why you don't try it yourself you i can do probably, it yeah i probably you, can. you just honestly pick it's probably me you like you pick something you like at least obviously i have a, a very strong um relationship to the dolphin in my mind so i picture it really well so you would I need to find my spirit animal. Like, yes, or it doesn't funny. have to be an animal. It could be uh, you might be good at making buildings, I don't know. Like, <laughs> you know, that sand castles that's why people made castles where they like them. I don't like castles and I don't I don't even spend any time trying to create that because I don't like them. Oh, and you're what I like me. is ant so I think I think I know what I think I do like the the, the castle stuff that structural Damn. integrity of the so uh-huh. one time when I wasn't one of the few times I wasn't building my sand castles next to the water for the water to hit mm-hmm. and see if it could withstand it or whatever. We, we, me and the cousins, I, I got them to do this game where we both built two sand castles. We got two teams who built two big sand castles and then we had fireworks. It was around July 4th or whatever. It was. And I remember this story. Yeah. The we game was, so you, Oh well, not 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 the part where we blew up the tent with the fireworks. I think oh, okay. that's what else. Okay. <laughs> but that oh, is a okay. good story. Yeah. Uh, ours was we had these little like little fireworks, and you would toss them at the other the opponent's castle, and wherever it landed, yeah. you lit the firework, and it went off and oh, blew up part of their okay. castle. And whoever had yeah. the, I guess we had like a flag in our castle, and whoever 
whoever's flag was last standing, that's the team that won because uh, their castle was stronger than others or whatever. Wow. So it was, I don't know, those are the kind of the things that yeah. I like building something. So, right. And then I'd make a game out of the right. thing that I built. And tearing it down. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Mm. So build that's probably, that's my spirit, spirit structure. Yes. Absolutely. <laughs> You have to, you have to do what you love and you know, what gives you the most enjoyment because it does. I mean, when I would finish one, it would give me such enjoyment to see it and to see other people enjoy it. I think that would probably give me more enjoyment to see other people enjoy it. Um, we definitely so, enjoyed it. Yeah. Uh, did, did you, I'm curious though, whenever you were building them back, you know, when I was a kid, so like 20, 30 yeah. years ago, uh, were you getting that kind of feedback then, or was it just like over time people would ask you, Oh, remember when you built that? Let's, I want to see another one. Or would, would people like when I first started, feedback? people wouldn't have known I could do it. So, um, I don't remember even when the, I even did the first one. Like, but I was can't, it, you don't it remember before? if it was more like people saying, Oh, that's amazing. That's cool what you made, or like, Oh, cool. Aunt Marsha made this. <laughs> and like us being more, yeah, I don't think I got a whole lot of feedback from my family. Um, mainly, I guess, because they just, it just didn't occur to them, Yeah. but I'd get a lot of feedback from people walking by. That's where I got most of the feedback. Yeah. If a person, if a, people would come by and they'd want to see what I was doing and then they would, ooh and ah, and that, <laughs> that's, a, that'll, that'll get you going. They're like, uh, okay, yeah, I'm going to keep, keep going. Yeah, it's it's funny. My family probably didn't give a whole lot of input, but that was true growing up. Like, I don't remember anything f my siblings or even my parents noticing that much my drawing, you know, like, oh, that's really good. I, I just didn't, I don't remember being. I would guess some that. of that gets lost in how many siblings you had. Too. Yes, yes, um, absolutely. The large but the family. same thing might might we might say that about Rob's piano playing. Like if you're if it's there all the time, you don't say, "Wow, I didn't know you could play." Well, of course you do because it's just you've been norm. listening to it for every you know every day your entire life. So I kind of compare it to that. Rob was an incredibly talented piano player, um, all you know, growing up. But yet we heard it all the time. Same thing with me drawing all the time. Okay, well, it's something else. Yeah, they're cool drawing. Do, and you know. <laughs> You don't really say it. You don't, you don't, yes, you might know it, but you don't really talk about it. You probably have that same situation. It's just what you're used to being with. It's not that they don't appreciate you because they don't know to either not appreciate you or appreciate you. Now they do. They appreciate me now because we don't, we're not together. And um, they, everybody appreciates each other, I think. And, and all our, you know, we all have this real strong connection to each other. And, yeah. um, but I think as adults, you have, you understand that's more important maybe to hear, but when you're kids, you just don't even notice it. <laughs> <You know? laughs> 